Today, we're going to check out Sizzy, which is the ultimate responsive web design testing tool. Hey everyone, what's up? Gary Simon, of course, Cetro.com. So today we're gonna to be checking out a tool called Sizzy. All right, so if you visit in your browser, sizzy.co, you'll see what it is all about. And basically it makes your life as a designer, a front end developer, very easy uh, being the fact that they have this tool. It is a native desktop application that allows you to visit your page and check out um, your design in a variety of different devices, but there's a lot more options than just that. There's been tools in the past that have allowed you to do this, but there are some really cool features that we're gonna be checking out. Also, this isn't a sponsored video. I checked out this software on my own. Uh, I sent them an email, let them know that I was going to do this video and they sent a coupon code. So I'm gonna include that here in the description if you want to receive 15% off of this tool and you can see the pricing here so you'll get 15 off of that using my uh, my coupon all right so let's go ahead and check it out all right so here it is after installing it um, it is a native desktop application uh, it used to be based on electron but that had some limitations and they weren't able to do a couple things that they want to do but now they are able to and have done so so i'm just going to put in a url that we want to check out um, i'm just going to do twilio.com we're going to hit enter Cool loading animation, and here are all of the default devices that you can preview. Okay, so very cool. Now you may have seen there's been you know similar things that do similar uh, layouts like this where they're web based and they allow you to see what your device looks like on different devices. But this uh, has extra features that are very cool. So first of all. Let's take a look at, at this section over here where you can filter by just iOS, Apple here. We can also do a Android. And we can also filter by just mobile phones only or tablets or just like a laptop option here. Um, you can also check out in terms of the view mode you can go to focus, which is really cool. Uh, it gives you tabs so that you can just look at one individually. Or you can do horizontal, where you're looking at things horizontally with a scroll bar here. And in terms of settings, there's just some basic things like hiding the dimensions. You can switch to landscape so that will rotate the phone. So for instance, uh, if we do this, we'll see now it's in, it's simulating you know, being in uh, landscape mode. And we can also come out to here. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna get to this select element in a second, but if we come out to this button right here, organize devices. It's gonna show you all of the ones that are currently visible versus the ones that are hidden. All right, so you can unhide these just by clicking and it will show these up as well. Very cool. Now. You can also add a device. So for instance, um, let's say we want a large desktop. So the user agent, we'll say Chrome, and we'll say 1900 by 1200. And so, actually let's just do 1080. Um, so by default right now, I think the laptop, I'm not sure what the dimension is. Let's just hit save. There's what the site looks like on a 1900 by, uh, or it should have been 1920, but whatever, uh, by 1080. Very, very cool. Um, we also have the laptop down here, which is based on 1440 by 900. You still, when you're dealing with your responsive web design, you still should have you know, larger viewports. So I would add these custom ones as well, just to see how it reacts. Um, there's also a very cool feature um, for selecting elements. Now, Real quick, quickly, I'm just gonna delete this large desktop. I don't need that. So this selector element, I, what it allows you to do is, let's say for instance, you want to uh, scroll down the page to see what a certain section looks like. Um, what we can do is we can come out in this little options or the more section right there, and we can hit inspect. This actually gives you access to the HTML and the CSS and the basically the, the Chrome uh, inspection tool 
or the dev tools right here for each one. So if we use this, uh, the, the selector icon here, we can get the selector element, move this over here for a second, of a certain area where we want them to uh, scroll to. So features, for instance, this is a selector that we can target if we want all the other uh, devices to scroll to that particular spot. So if I just type in uh, class, which is a period here, and then features, we select this, look at that. So now they are all scrolled down to that section just to see or to show you, you know, how it's behaving. So I really like that feature. Now we can also real quickly, let's refresh this. And the whole point of, of using this, by the way, is to identify any key problem areas on any of these devices that maybe you don't see while you're developing because you don't have access to these devices. Uh, for instance, one problem area I would say right here is on iPad Air is this product is just too close to the logo. So that's one area that you would uh, want to fix. So what you would do if, there, if you notice a problem area is you can click on this screenshot icon, which would just give you a very quick screenshot, shows you up here, we can click preview, and there's our image, we can now show that to somebody. Um, you can also click down here and you could do a full screenshot, which will take a picture of the full page all the way down. So we can click preview and there we go. Although it's a little bit lengthy there, but still it gets, it should get the full page. I'm not sure if it actually did though. Um, so outside of that, if you click on any of the links as well, or to any different page, they all show up automatically. So let's check out just a couple more examples um, to see if or how you know useful this tool becomes. So this is uh, somebody's site that they submitted during my recent um, uh, live design review from Friday, last Friday. Uh, and we can see immediately as we scroll down, there's an issue right here on iPad Air where it has lost the white space or the padding on the left side. So again, very, very helpful. Let's check out one more example. This is another submission that I received. And everything looks pretty solid right here. So that is the usefulness of this very cool tool. All right, so now hopefully you have a new tool that's going to help you in the process of front end development and responsive design. All right, also make sure to use, if you're going to uh, purchase this, make sure to use that coupon for sure. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't. All right, see you guys soon, goodbye.